Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I hope everybody out there is doing great. So I just want to let you guys know that most of the August videos and the uh, uh, September videos and the going a little bit into October, I will not be on camera because um, they're pre-recorded. <laughs> Um, also, um, somebody mentioned Jamie Zebra 23. Can you pick up the energies if they're, if they're, if they're not on the exact day? Well, I think that's the point of divination, right? Is to tell the future. Um, so that's what divination is. It's telling, telling you events to come. So no, you don't have to <laughs> do it on that day, but I know most of you know that, but I, I got asked that question quite a bit the past few weeks. Also, um, you guys are asking me, did the did the kittens have did the cat have the kittens yet? Not yet. I think she's probably gonna have them in a few days. Um, she's been um, eating a lot less, and that's usually a sign of um, cats about to. If they had like a big appetite, they say one of the warning one of the one of the signs of labor or that they're about to have the babies is they start nesting. So she's starting to like nest, look for spots, and she's also her appetite has changed. She's not she's not uh, very hungry. Also. Um, or something else there was something else oh um I have had to change some things around lately for my own sanity for my own well-being um, I made a mistake early on in my YouTube career I made friends with a lot of people which making friends is not the mistake I made myself too available to people at my expense and at the expense of the children so I would normally allow people to text me all throughout the day, ask me questions all day long, you know, blow up my email, blow up my phone. I put a stop to that the past month and a half. So if you're one of the people that used to do that and you're not hearing from me and you're not getting a response from me, please understand that I need five minutes to myself. It takes a, I have a lot of readings that I have to do. I've got to answer questions. My children have appointments. Um, there's a pandemic going on. I'm being pulled in a lot of different direction. So not only do I have my children, I also have a very large family, um, a very large family that's typically very, very needy of a lot of things, my time, my attention, financially, I, they need my help. Um, they don't research very well, so if they have a problem, I'm usually left to take care of it. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a lot more than just a text. You know, if it's one person doing it, fine. But I, I have over 30 people that text me on a daily basis. I cannot answer those. So, you know, a few people have cursed me out. A few people have gotten pretty angry. I just cannot. Also, I don't know who I'm talking to. Most of you are strangers. So please keep that in mind. I did have an incident over the past four or five months. Well, I would say it's longer than that because, well, I guess the person showed back up again about four or five months ago. But um, this person is desperately trying to find my address, desperately trying to have access to my children, desperately trying to get into my life. I'm not allowing it. So it all started with them um, calling my cell phone and me not answering and leaving very um, irrational messages about, you know, back. I don't know if you guys remember when I said, please don't call that cell phone that's listed because my mom has it. My mom uses that phone for her games. Um, somebody was writing, oh, get out of jail free card or you're going to get in trouble soon or this. I don't do anything illegal so you can't get in trouble for doing things that are not illegal. So anyway, so I asked nicely, you know, please don't do that anymore. So then the person ordered a reading. So before, you know, the date of their reading, they decided to message me and say, um, I'm just going to come over and get the reading from you. First off, they don't know what state I'm in. Secondly, they don't have my address. Thirdly, nobody's coming over. I don't do in-person readings. Then I said, no, thank you. Then she said, oh, I'll just come over. I'll, I'll take the kids for a few hours. No, lady, I don't know you. Of course, I didn't answer and I didn't respond to any of it. Then she goes, you're holding my brother hostage. Please let my brother go. How dare you? Didn't answer it. So now... She sent me a message like a week ago, I think, saying, what's your address, sweetie? I want to send you a gift. Of course, I didn't respond to that either. I keep blocking her and she just keeps making new um, email addresses, but with the same like same name. So it's like the same thing, but maybe a spelling's a little different or like a number's off. Plus the IP address is the same. 
Um, so as my channel grows, I need to be a little bit more protective. Um, so I just, I think most of you, most of you understand, but some of you don't. Um, I know a lot of people, they like a lot of attention. They like for people to be like, oh, look at me, look at me. Yes, I do wear makeup. Yes, the hair is blonde. Yes, I dress a little different. But that's not for attention seeking. That That's because I like it. I actually, as I've mentioned to you guys a million times before, I have social anxiety. So literally, when I go out, I, I like don't want to be noticed. I like wear dark glasses and like cloaks and shit, <laughs> which is probably drawing more attention, but, <laughs> but yeah, so I, I'm scurrying. I don't just wander, like saunter around the streets. I'm in, I'm out. I'm doing what I need to do. I'm usually looking down. You know, it's, I have social anxiety. I've had it my whole life. I just do. I've come to terms with it. I'm fine with it. It's probably kept me alive, right? Cause I'd probably be out there just doing a lot of wild things if I didn't have social anxiety, right? But that's nothing against anybody. So I'm antisocial anyway. So just, um, you know, continue to respect my wishes. I, I want everyone to do well. I love you guys. And for those people who did write to me, Jamie, if it wasn't for us, you wouldn't be anywhere. I agree. If it wasn't for the support of all of you watching my channel, I certainly wouldn't have what I have now. I, I can 100% say that that's true. But because you watch my channel, I can't, I cannot sacrifice the children, myself, my health. You know, I was literally, you know, not even being able to, I was literally being forced to take like five minute showers a day because I did not have time. Cause I was doing so many readings and people were blowing up my phone and you know, everything else that I have to do. I, I have to start putting myself first. I have to, um, for my own sanity. And the more videos I can post on YouTube, if you guys will just leave me alone. <laughs> All right, guys, jamiezebra23.com to ta for now. Again, thank you guys for everything because I, I totally agree. I wouldn't be here without you guys. It's be only, only, for you, only for the people that believed in my channel, that watch me, that support me. If only for you, I'm okay. Because literally without all of you guys, I would have been in another messed up relationship. Probably, probably in a wheelchair again. So yeah. All right. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.